Gracie, as I've been saying, if you continue to bark, you are going inside. This is James Vanderbeek's moment, not yours. <laughs> she just wants a little spotlight. I don't know. <laughs> just want to point that out. This is about you, James Vanderbeek, not her. Well, thank you. I'm sure when most people say to you, James Vanderbeek, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh -huh. so they, you know they're going to say, okay, here comes the Dawson's Creek thing. Right. I would like to go back to your yes. time um, at Drew University uh -huh. when you sung in a, an a cappella group. I have a Who, me? yeah. I have a soft spot for guys who sing a cappella. So you're the one. I, okay. I'm the one. You're the, you're the reason guys still get together with zero instruments and pretend to be in a band. Correct. Gotcha. That's why. Okay, so give me one of your greatest hits when you were an a cappella singing guy. <laughs> What well, greatest? Oh man, it's it's embarrassing. Just just make something up. It's cold. I got a dog behind me who's kind of old. <gasps> no. Chicks hate it when you come in on their <laughs> age like that. No wonder you stop singing because exactly. you're mean. I you're am mean. I'm a mean, mean man. Well, <laughs> the the early night. Hi, me. Him. Hi. Oh hi. I didn't recognize you. Hi. You look great. Do you want to hear something so funny? I still don't recognize her. I have no <laughs> idea who that is. That must happen to you a lot, actually. People must be like, I know you. Yeah. And yeah. I've learned, I've learned to stop saying nice to meet you. You just say, good, good, to, to, see good you. to see you. Does it weird you out when people are like, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Or do you then have to say, yeah, I'm the guy from Dawson's Creek? You start, yeah. What's really embarrassing is when they don't get the first thing on the resume. <laughs> and then they're like, well, no, 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 I didn't watch Dawson's Creek. What else? What else? And uh. you're like, you want to IMDb me? Here's my phone. Right, they, they, right. I don't, I don't want to have to go down and sleep. So what do you do? Like varsity blues? <laughs> we kill ourselves for you. Rolls of tracks. Uh, right. I did a show last year. There was, oh, what show? It, it, was, it was canceled after, but it was, it was, a, you know, it was on Netflix. Big jeans. Put your cheeks in a beat. Which of those shows do you wish you hadn't done? Um, oh, they're all fun now. Some projects you, you, you go into because you believe fully in the potential of the project, and then there are other projects that you go into, really hoping it's going to turn out because otherwise bankruptcy is embarrassing. Right, bankruptcy is embarrassing, and you yeah. got to pay for preschool. You got three kids now. You got because diapers aren't free. Dude, they are not free. Ain't free. None of it is. Yeah. And here in Brooklyn, your milk is like it's almost six dollars a gallon. Or <laughs> yeah, or that's whatever. why we make our own at home. Wow, that one filled up fast. Okay, which is like a really good segue into your new show, <laughs> Friends with Better Lives. What's up with Lefty? Are you comfortable doing like the boob jokes and the sex jokes and the? Because there's a lot of those. Yeah. Do you like those? If it's funny, if it gets a laugh, yeah. I mean, it, to be dirty for the sake of being dirty, I don't like at all. Um, I always try to do it clean if you can, but dirty jokes. And you try to be dirty clean. I try to be clean, just in, in terms of humor. Oh, why? No. If you're clean, for the most part, a few dirty jokes go a long way. Are you a funny person without someone writing your funny for you? I'm hilarious. How important is humor in your daily life? It's what gets me through the day, man. It's what keeps me sane, yeah. I mean, that was my whole reaction to the whole teen idol thing first, was, 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 to, was to laugh at it, among, privately amongst my friends. Because right. at that point, you know, <laughs> I was so lucky if I had done it publicly, I would have been, been a jerk. But you would have been a jerk. Privately with my friends, I was, I was constantly, you know, I'm a teen idol, damn it. Yes, you are. Do you have any idea who I think I am? <laughs> have you? Suffered any PTSD from being a teen idol? You know, the one PTSD that I suffer is whenever that Paula Cole song plays, <laughs> I have the indescribable urge to hide. I, don't wanna wait for I think it's it's a it's a PTSD from from being chased out of malls by hordes of teenage girls that just all of a sudden gets triggered. Okay, so now is it a bummer if the song comes on and no one's chasing you? No. I do have to imagine though, kidding aside, that that being a teen idol. And then having like a quieter period yeah. is a weird transition. It's, it saved my life. It really did. Um, going through that, that crazy six year marathon, uh, afterwards I just kind of wanted to disappear. And I did. And I needed to figure out who I was outside of that job, outside of that show and that How role. How old were you when you landed Dawson's? 20. Okay, so 20. So it's a very malleable time anyway. Yeah. And it's a very who the heck am I anyway. Yeah, and you're trying to figure out who you are as a man and you're trying to figure out what works and who am I going to be for the rest of my life and it's it's just a little trickier when every stranger you meet associates you with something completely made up so oh that sounds uh, awful it's a lot of pressure no listen poor, laughing all the way to the bank or poor successful rather crying actors. all the way to the bank oh right my God. I know it's yeah it's not hard it's just it's it's tricky right but, but if as I'm being honest it's yeah 
what did you find after you did that soul searching kind of moral inventory thing? Yeah, but life is a lot more fun when you, when you don't take yourself so seriously. Fellas, you're not perfect and you shouldn't have to be. Let me work for you. I did some funny die skits, which were a blast. Never waste your money buying candy for a chick. Only makes him fat, right bro? I did a Kesha video just because. If it isn't James Vanderdouche. I assume that led you to do the Vanderbeek memes. Yep. I worked for six years of doing a lot of very turgent teen melodrama, and then somebody <laughs> boiled all that down to a four second clip of me crying. And it was a very sincere moment when we shot it, but then it was actually sort of being used to mock other people in internet chat rooms, which I just found That's awesome. hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and I met with Funny or Die, and they suggested we run towards it and offer a selection of memes for all your mocking needs Probably in mocking internet memes. chat rooms. It was mild sadness, super sad sobbing. 10 year anniversary crying edition, sheer panic, and many, many more. Is there anything you're doing on Friends With Better Lives that's gonna become a meme like anything from Dustin's Creek? Oh goodness. You know, if I, act, if I acted with that fear, I would- I, So much pressure, huh? I would really be completely frozen. Yeah. I think uh, the internet will make whatever memes it wants to, and, and you just gotta, gotta say more power to you. More power to you, internet. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Thank you, Al Gore, for making it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gore. Yes. I'll do my compliments to the chef. <laughs>